This is the new Bayon, a compact crossover that will open up yet another market segment to Hyundai. It's a model that shows the Korean brand has ambitions to become one of the major forces in the class. We're going to take a look at what we know so far and single out four key ways that the Bayon could steal sales from the more established rivals in the segment, and one or two that could hold it back. But before we get to the ins and outs of the new Hyundai Bayon, make sure you subscribe to the Auto Express channel and hit the like button if you want to see more videos like this. On to the Bayon then, and the first thing that it's got going for it is its maker's recent form. Within the last 12 months, Hyundai has treated us to seven new models, including facelifts and all new releases. Two of those brand new cars sit at differing ends of the new car market and have both impressed us greatly. The i20 Super Mini has the practicality, refinement and infotainment tech for us to rank it among the very best small cars you can buy right now. At the larger end of the scale, the new Tucson plays to similar strengths and throws in concept car-like styling and a fabulous cabin which sets it apart from the group of mostly conservatively designed rivals. And conservatism isn't something that Hyundai has settled for here, because the first thing that the Bayon has got going for it is its looks. Buyers in this segment love a quirky, even divisive looking car. Just look at the Nissan Juke, which is by no means a class leader in terms of how it drives, but it still remains a hit with buyers overall. The Bayon might not quite have the shock value of the Juke from the outside, but it's certainly distinctive. The front gets slim LED lights along the edge of the bonnet, which sit above larger, more conventional units below. That front end definitely gives off strong Kona vibes, whose recent facelift left the car with a similar family look. Along the sides, the Bayon is full of sharp, angular creases, much like the larger Tucson SUV, while around the back, the full-width light bar, V-shaped taillights and extended black bootlid area are all very reminiscent of the i20 hatchback. Depending on the trim level you go for, the wheels measure between 15 and 17 inches, while nine exterior colours are offered, some of which get a contrasting roof. The similarities to the i20 continue inside, where the dashboard is lifted pretty much entirely from the small hatchback. This means that you're getting a cabin which, from a distance, looks sharp and modern, but that close-up suffers from a few too many hard, cheap-feeling plastics. If cabin design and finish is something you really care about, then you'll need to head not to Germany, but to France. The Renault Capture and especially the Peugeot 2008 have taken giant leaps forward from the quality of their predecessors, and now sit as the best in the market. But while the Hyundai will struggle to compete on ambience with those two, it will fight back with practicality. At 411 litres, the boot is larger than either the Peugeot or the Renault, though it does drop behind the Ford Puma in its clever little hose-down megabox underfloor storage. All of those design cues inside and out that remind us of the i20 should come as no surprise, because the i20 donates its underpinnings to the Bayon, and that can only be a good thing. We've had a few opportunities to drive the i20 since it was released in 2020, and on every occasion we've been left in no doubt that it's now one of the most accomplished super minis on the market. Ride comfort is great, it's much more fun to drive than its sensible predecessor, and refinement is among the best in its class. If the Bayon can carry over any of those strengths, then Hyundai should be on to a winner. The engine lineup makes use of Hyundai's 1 litre 3 cylinder turbocharged petrol engine, which now benefits from mild hybrid assistance. The engine is available with either 99 or 118 brake horsepower, with both making the same peak torque, in the real world it's probably the lesser powered model which is likely to be the one to go for. Gearbox choices include a 7 speed dual clutch auto and a new intelligent manual transmission with fuel saving clutch by wire system. Mild hybrids emit between 118 grams per kilometer and 131 grams per kilometer of CO2. The Bayon will enter the class with a comprehensive suite of safety and infotainment tech. Digital instrument panels aren't yet the norm in the class. The Ford Puma, Seat Arona and Volkswagen T-Cross all get systems on some trim levels, but the Hyundai is set to join them with its own 10.25 inch screen. The graphics look razor sharp too, which should help make everything clear and easy to read on the move. The infotainment system itself will measure the same 10.25 inches on higher trim levels. As with recent Hyundai's we've sampled, it'll likely offer one of the most intuitive systems in the class. The Bayon majors on safety kit too, with Hyundai claiming that it will become a class leader in the area. Lane following assist, forward collision avoidance with car, pedestrian and cyclist detection, and driver attention warning are just some of the features that will be available. So that all sounds good, but could the Bayon have any weaknesses? Well, aside from that cabin design which might drop it below some rivals on buyer's shortlists, the key thing in this class is price. Cars like the Renault Capture offer a premium feel compared to most rivals, while still undercutting many of them on monthly rates. 
The Dacia Duster does without any pretense of poshness and consistently ranks among the best-selling compact crossovers in Europe because it's so cheap. While Hyundai hasn't confirmed the exact numbers yet, when the Bayon goes on sale in the summer, we expect the range to kick off from about £20,000, which is about £1,000 more than the Renault. So what do you think? Will the Hyundai Bayon become a massive sales hit, or will buyers still swing towards more established rivals from Ford and Renault? Let us know what you think in the comments below.